going on guys it's your boy random guy kev and this is the airsoft report your bi-weekly discussion on things happening in the airsoft community relating to events sales products news drama youtube and all that random goodness that is airsoft the airsoft report is sponsored by overwatch tactics the producer of military simulation events at unique locations high power airsoft the world's best bbs that's truly enhanced bio and don't forget to check to check out airsoftgi.com and use the code RGK for 5% off your order. If you like the information being provided, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Information in this video will be available on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. Timestamps are provided below, so if you wish to skip ahead, please do do so. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. What's the deal? Airsoft GI still has the YouTube unboxing mystery box going on, so definitely check out airsoftgi.com for more information on that. Fox Airsoft, they have a giveaway going on until June 30th. They're giving away a GNG SSG-1. More information on their website. Airsoft Station, they're giving away a, a Well MB-12 sniper rifle, um, and that ends on May 1st. What's happening in the industry? PTS has just released uh, two two new mags, uh, the EPM LR AG. This is compatible with GNG's SR-25, Classic Army's SR-25, and other similar SR-25 designed um, replicas. They also have the EPMG AEG, which is uh, for the G36 rifles. More information on that on PTS's website. Perun Airsoft, they have, they were releasing on May 7th, the V2 and V3 hybrid um, with uh, a lot more features than the previous versions. If you want more information, I have that link below and you can check out rgk airsoft for more information on that upcoming events and competition events are subject to change so definitely check out the event producer for more information cqp rush 5v5 event series uh starting may 15th for the regional qualifier check out cqb-rush.com for more information speed qb they're having a 3v3 competition at capital capital edge paintball so uh, on may 1st more information uh check out cqb CQB's uh, Instagram page for more information on this. M. Sato, April 30th uh, in New York. Theta Events, April 30th, Outpost Echo Crisis, West Virginia. American Milson, May 1st and the 2nd, Central Front in Illinois, and Milson West, May 7th to the 9th in California. So let's get in our topic. This is something I asked on Instagram a while ago. Uh, things that Airsofters won't buy, I mean, and sometimes they'll cheap out on. Um, and it's a number of products that I feel like are very essential. Um, I mean, uh, when I did my Airsoft uh, unboxing from Airsoft GI, they gave me a, a box full of gloves. My things about gloves is the moment you don't wear them is when your hands get destroyed by BBs all the time. I've not worn gloves maybe two or three times because I forgot them. And it's like, all right, I'm not gonna buy new ones immediately that first game my hands got shot up and i was like you know what let me just buy these cheap, these uh these Falcon gloves with the protection on them and just and just keep it moving i i mean i know there's people that don't wear gloves that's 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 on you but me i feel like people cheap out on gloves i have the mechanics impact gloves and i enjoy them because i do get shot there and i don't really feel it like it's not like on my hand like i don't get bruising on my hands when you have you ever got shot in a nail and that nail cracked i've had that happen to me once because i wasn't wearing gloves it's like never again um i pro people cheap out on i pro a decent pair of i pro they'll get something that they see on amazon i think it's like cool like they paid like 40 50 dollars and it's it's not rated for for airsoft so i mean somebody had told me um that somebody came to their field they had the cheapo ipros however that they bought from amazon they shot at one time boom shit broke you don't want that yeah your eyes or something are they're great at, they're like you only get one pair you can't get them back so once they're gone they're gone um, don't ever cheap out on iPro. Um, for me, I wear uh, laser tactical goggles because they fit my glasses. I can put my glasses right in there and then put the goggles on and it's full seal and everything. I, I've had them for three years now. Um, well, two years, sorry. Um, and they work they work per, 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 perfectly for me with no fogging or anything. I mean, I enjoy them. I mean, I might get a dye mask. I might. But it's like the, just the convenience of putting that on and going out and playing, and it's enjoyable. I know I get people fog up and they don't they don't like fogging up and things like that. Invest in good eye pro, please, because getting shot out is not not something you want. Face pro in general, um, you know a lower a lower 
I'm not getting my, my T-shot. I see people play on the field without a lower of some sort, or some type of protection for their teeth, their mouth. Oh, uh, it's like, I get it. It's sometimes the mesh and stuff is expensive. Like get you a custom mesh where it's like metal mesh covering your mouth and then like a balaclava. A lot of people, I see a lot of people do that. They get like a metal mesh balaclava type thing. And I have one of those and I enjoy it. I, I, it's a custom, custom one. Um, I'm not getting, I'm sorry, I'm not getting shot in the face. I, I've gotten shot like right there on the nose and that the, the worst little thing that's sitting there that's disgusting. I can't go in front of people. I can't go to work. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, this happened because I went and played airsoft. Nah, that's, that's not it. Um, oh my God, gun, a gun bag or a gun case. Come on guys. Like I've seen so many people just cheap out. I mean, I get it. You can keep your gun in the box, but after a while that box breaks down. It's like, now you're just, what are you doing with it? I've seen people walk onto the field, um, walk into the shop they park their car they get out the pull their gun out and just carry it and this is why the cops are called please stop just buy a 20 dollars gun gun bag or something um they're not that expensive it's like a, a great investment to have a gun bag i mean there's there's gun bags that carry two or three guns in them so it's like it's the best thing that you can do for yourself just throw those things in there um oh a footwear people don't think about like proper like ankle support type footwear because you can you're sitting there running you can roll your ankle and it's just like bad and that yeah it's so much pain i've seen people like wear some shitty ass boots or shitty ass like sneakers and it's like it's not really made for this uh, again your all this stuff is based on what you want to get but it's like all the stuff I'm talking about is protection for yourself. So you can see the next day, you can see tomorrow. Um, you, you ever roll your ankle and that that is not the best feeling ever. Um, it, proper footwear for if you're going outdoor, you're playing outdoors, you want something that's secure. It's like, um, you're not sitting there gonna slip on some BBs, a random pile of BBs somewhere. It's like, I've seen people slip on BB, BBs and it's like, that it hurts. And getting your ankle, that ankle support um, you don't, you don't have something secure there. That's painful as well. Um, barrel socks. I mean, I know people sometimes put their gloves on their, um, on their guns when they go out to the, to, the, to, the, you know, safe zones and things like that. But there's cases out there where people, you know, accidentally shoot their gun and the barrel, uh, the glove is on and it's not, of course, not properly secure. Um, and sometimes the BB penetrates that glove because sometimes people buy cheap gloves that, you know, things just go through. So a proper barrel, barrel sucks like five, ten dollars. So it's not a bad investment actually. Um, um, ear pro, I mean, a lot of mesh masks come with like that ear protection. Um, something that covers your ear, that's, 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 I mean, it's not a necessary thing, but it's still like, you only get one pair of ears. <laughs> And I've seen videos of people getting shot in the ear and it's like the BB's just sticking in there or like it's the BB's in there. It's like, bro, like, imagine that hits your eardrum. That, that'd be so disrespectful. Um, but just like your ears, your eyes, your mouth, like you only get one pair of that. Your teeth, like, I mean, teeth you can replace, but you don't want you don't want that dentist bill. Like no one wants that. Um, working mags, like don't cheap out on mags because I mean, I run PTS mags. I love PTS mags. They go with that, essentially go with everything. Um, but you know, it's a higher price point uh, for a quality product. I mean, you can get cheaper mags, but <clears throat> um, but a lot of times they don't always work. And people tend to buy used mags sometimes. Used mags don't work sometimes as well. Because I mean, I'm not giving a mag. I'm sorry, I'm not selling. I'm not selling mag. Like my t PTS mags have about. Mm, nine 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 or ten uh mags I man you would lose them on the field but i mean mags that i lend out to people i give them the orange orange pts mags no one else has orange pts mags if you find that on a field that's like that's mine no one else is running orange pts mags those are my like backup like hey oh kev you got any mags here you go orange pts mags bright as hell um, cause I like my black e e e EPMs and uh, my EPM ones. I'm definitely not letting people use those. Those are expensive mags. Um, 
But let me let me know your thought. Oh wait, sorry, I had another one in there. Water. <laughs> People do not stay hydrated. People do not care about hydration. Even bring a bottle of water out to the field. Like, I get it, you may be playing like a 30 minute game. Bring water with you. It's like the, a small bottle of water will go a long way. Um, even like a high hydration pack. You don't necessarily need a hydration pack. Bring up uh, a thing of water. Bring water to the field. Cause people, people tend not to buy that. Uh, or, or say if they forget their bottle of water at home, they won't buy it on the field. It's like, you're gonna dehydrate and kill yourself like on the field like you're gonna have some type of panic attack and then have to go to the hospital because you're dehydrated there's so many people that pop up on the field and they're dehydrated that's and the summer's quickly approaching so hydrate yourself no i mean even even in the winter hydrate yourself um but those are those are kind of my things like you know i pro i pro face pro a gun bag proper footwear barrel sock gloves uh, air pro working working mags things of that nature what are your thoughts on things that air that airsoft air softers won't buy or or they'll cheap out on let me know your thoughts in the comments but that's it for this episode let me know what you guys would like to discuss on the next one and uh, don't forget to leave a comment subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one